One of the things that I care about quite a bit as a researcher and also an extension specialist and also something that Lee cares about as a consultant is accurately representing what we're seeing in the field. So we're going to dive into statistics. Now that may sound a little scary, but we're going to show you in the field what we mean by collecting unbiased information. So Lee, can you explain what we're going to do? So we're going to start by figuring out our stats first and we're just going to collect one cop. That's not enough for replication but it's gonna, it should prove the point. So basically, you start with your stats. Your stats always has to be decided first. How much difference do you need? Where's that difference gonna be? How you're gonna select it? How you're gonna analyze? You don't do that after because you've already seen the data. So this is the same thing. If we go here and we have already seen the cobs, we're more likely to pick a little better cob. It's just the way it is, even when you're trying not to. So in this case, what we're gonna do is, Abby's gonna go six rows that way. I'm gonna go six rows that way, and I'm gonna pick the 10th plant from the first one I touch, and that's the cob I'm going to pick. Abby's going to pick the one that she thinks is representative. All right, let's, let's go. do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to pick a cob that I think represents this area. Now, actually, the cover crop doesn't look that great here, so I'm going to go back a little bit because I think it looks better here. This is kind of what I want to show. Look at a few here just to make sure that I picked the best one. This one I think has the least amount of tip back. So I'm gonna pull that one, but I'm just gonna make sure. So let me look at a couple more here. I think this one might be the best. It has the least amount of tip back. So I'm gonna take this one back to Lee and we'll see what he found with his randomization design. Here's the first plant I came up to. So I'm gonna do 10 plants over. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. That's probably not a representative cob, but maybe it is. I didn't put any bias in it, but that's the cob we got. So let's take it back to Abby and see what she had. So, what'd you find? <laughs> okay, now, do I think this is necessarily representative of the field? No, but it was a predetermined cob. Would I pick this one without the predetermination? No, I wouldn't. So this is probably not representative, but it is a cob from this field, and it was six rows over and 10 plants down. Well, how was your cob? Well, I kind of went to where the cover crop was good. You know, I wanted to be representative of the practice we're using, so I went where the cover crop looked good between, and then I looked at a few and kind of thought that this one maybe looked the best because it didn't have a lot of tip back on it. And, um, but maybe should we do it again and see if we can do the replication part of this? Yeah. How many times would it take to really get better cobs? Let's do it again. All right, my first cob, my second cob. First cob, second cob. So my second cob looks a little more like Abby's cob, but there are cobs like this in here. So if we cherry picked only these and ignored these, we're gonna skew the data. So that's the point. And then we have to do this enough times to get representative data, right? I mean, yeah, usually in research, we're using three reps, four reps, something like that to actually get an accurate idea of what's happening. Right. So do we need to do a third and a fourth Lee or have we made no, our I point? No, I think we made the point. But the, the thing is, is that um, it's hard to remove bias. Even when you're trying to focus on not being biased, it's gonna be biased. It's part of the deal. So this is what statistics is to help us do, is to help remove some of the bias and remove some of the variability. That's the whole point of it. And it's not typically that hard. Now we didn't necessarily do a hardcore statistics thing, but there's points in these plots that are gonna be replicated, sampled that way. We're gonna sample stretches of cobs so we get some of this variability across the way. And then we'll hopefully we get better data that actually represents the practice and not just what we want it to be. Exactly. Well, thanks Lee for doing this. I think we made statistics maybe a little bit fun to watch us do this and, and try this out in the field. And hopefully we can help everybody else get an ag a better accurate picture of what's happening as they try new practices.